Hello there. Well, today a painting friend of mine, uh, we're going to look for two oaks that are in this wood, which is called Whitley Wood, which is just uh, west of Lyndhurst. Uh, it's an ancient pasture woodland and you can see the ponies there wandering by just to prove that. Um, and we're going to, uh, Barry has already found one of these oaks and he's going to show me where it is and this is the one. Um, we're also looking for very paintable subjects like trees like this but the weather, uh, the, the light is not good for, for painting so we're just doing a bit of exploring. Now I think this tree, uh, it's uh, uh, 19 feet 9 inches in uh, girth, uh, which is 6 metres. Uh, so it's a, one of the big oaks that's been recorded a long while ago. Um, I think it's quite paintable. Um, the only thing I would say is there is a road nearby and I would rather be um, in a more tranquil area. But anyway, it, it would be a good tree to paint from one direction at least. It's probably a tree I would probably paint from a, a photograph rather than uh, uh, have that noise of the road in the background all the time, which would always annoy me. Uh, not easy to find tranquil places anywhere, but once you get away from the roads in the forest, uh, you can find some lovely tranquil areas. You can see this ancient woodland uh, is just as it should be with lots of dead trees on the ground. That's the most important thing for these woodlands. Uh, the ground flora tends to be a fairly uh, light because of the grazing, but the invertebrates that live in dead wood uh, is absolutely um, it's one of those amazing places in Britain for things like stag beetles, which are, are pretty rare everywhere else. But there's some lovely um, examples of fallen timber here. I mean, this big oak here that's fallen, I mean, the roots have even been lifted, cantilevered up out of the ground. And I can walk underneath this uh, great limb here. And of course there are uh, ferns growing out of the, the trees and even other trees, young trees growing out of, uh, there's some ferns there that are, are growing out, I think they're the polypod ferns. Now you can see how this wood is decaying slowly. Over hundreds of years these timber fly on the floor and gradually rot back into the earth. Now we're still trying to find this other tree. Now Barry has a pretty good nose for finding trees but he hasn't found this one. Um, but with a little help we, we will find it. You can see that the it's quite damp the, the ground in places which is all even adds to the uh, interesting ecology of this place. Now the tree we're looking for is only three inches uh, smaller than uh, the one we've just seen, the big one we've just seen uh, and that makes it uh, five Point nine meters or 19 feet 6 inches. I think that looks like the tree. It's, uh, it's just beyond that fallen timber. Yes, this is definitely the tree. And Barry's giving it a, a sort of a, a rough measurement. You can roughly get a guide that uh, a tree is over 20 feet in girth. Now, of course, we're, we're still looking for likely subjects uh, for painting when the light conditions are better. And I've spotted this tree here. Uh, it's obviously nowhere as, as big as the ones we've looked at, but I think it's got some character and I like the way that the other small trees nearby add to a, a good composition. And I think you could uh, maybe perhaps place a pony uh, just in the arch of that tree. Now here's an example of a tree I painted, uh, it caught my eye, I uh, painted this uh, earlier this year. There's plenty of trees um, to look at, I mean this one here is a big one and it's uh, uh, got a holly growing out of it. 
Holly's amazing, all the distortions that you get from the animals nibbling it. And then you get these mosses, these wonderful or bryophytes that grow over the, the dead trees and on the basis of the trees. Now all of a sudden the sun shines through and it's quite amazing how it can change the whole scene and make it very paintable. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, uh, short video. If you have, please click a like and maybe subscribe. Goodbye for now.